Hello, in today's script demo, I'm going to be showing you a script that kills an auto hockey script of your choice and that auto hockey script only. If you're interested in this topic, please continue watching. All right, welcome back. This is a very short script, so it won't take too long. Now you can see my side, there are three scripts open. Uh, script two is the script that I'm going to kill and script three is just the demo script that is not going to get terminated by my first script that terminates the second script only. So let me go ahead. This third script will show me a tooltip that is going to stay for a period of one minute. And the second script is an infinite loop with, whereby it shows a tooltip and that tooltip gets an updated value. Uh, which increases by one every hundred milliseconds. So if I go ahead and run the second strip, I'm going to get that tooltip showing up next to my mouse cursor. Now, if I go to my first script, this is the script that kills the second script. So I'm going to stop seeing this number being added up and uh, this tooltip showing up on uh, around where my mouse cursor is. If I go ahead and run the first script, so it closed the second script, but notice how the third script which shows a static tooltip here, is still running. The way the script works is, it performs a win close of the script by specifying the script name in this manner. I can probably just change this to a variable that I have created here to store the script name that I want to terminate. So I can just go ahead and change this to, I think I have to wrap it in percentage size like that. Let me just save that and make sure that it does still kill the second script. Yep, it does. Now, the way it works is it first starts off with set title match mode of two, which sets the title match mode to a par partial match. So when you try to identify the windows um, by the window title, which is what we're doing down here, it allows for partial matches, not an exact full title match. Uh, the second thing it does is it activates the detection of hidden windows because the auto hockey scripts are running in the background they're hidden and if you don't switch this on then you won't be able to detect the auto hockey scripts now and then i've created a variable to store the name of the script now notice how there is a backslash here and then followed by a dash in auto hockey i'm going to be showing you why I have the backslash and the dash in auto hockey and let me just go ahead and run the script again save this and then run the first script to I have uncommented these two lines of codes to show you why there's a backslash and the dash in auto hockey so if I run that what it's going to do is it's going to get the win the full windows title of the selected script now it did a partial match of the window title because it allowed for the script allow for a partial match and then it got the full uh, title of that script and then displayed it in a message box so you can see there is a backslash and then the script name followed by dash auto hockey now the backslash is good to have because say for example if you have a text file let's say text file that has that name in other words let me just resize this in other words if you have a text file that's named exactly the same as my script like that this win close might select that text file if that text file is open to close it instead of the auto hockey and therefore and you're not going to have a text file that has a name of backslash in front so um, and therefore the backslash is a, a good safety measure to um, avoid having to close other ones other than the auto hockey script that is running now and then it goes ahead and closes the selected script by detecting the partial match of the the very the value in the variable that we have put in so 
if you want to change the script to another script that you want to close, you just have to update this value from test script to to whatever the name of the um, AutoHockey script that you have run. Um, and then I've got AutoHockey class AutoHockey, and that's just another another safety measure. It's not entirely necessary. Um, this will do. But what this does is it limits the window detection to just the AutoHockey scripts. So that's pretty much it. And this script is going to be saved on my website, juho leecom And if you go to archive and click the AutoHockey icon and go through the drop down list, you'll be able to find that. Thank you for watching this video and I'll see you in the next one.